All right, day 37 is in the books. I had four games. I won two, I lost two, still at the same ELO. Um, first reaction, I would say lots of mistakes, lots of mistakes. I started with like a, a small, a short session of puzzles, but I don't know, I feel I'm a little bit, um, I'm, I'm trying too hard and then I'm missing the basic stuff and I end up in situations that are very, very difficult to recover. So yeah, that's probably uh, what Stockfish is going to tell me in a minute. So let's take a look at the first game. The first game was against Nick the Killer um, from India. So here is the game. Let's see the game. Um, oh yeah, he just, uh, I mean, so to be fair, then I only won one game, and lost two because uh, he resigned. So that was game one, quite disappointing. Game two, 69% uh, accuracy, three blunders, four in, uh, mistakes, one inaccuracy. Uh, it was a very interesting game according to this graph. Let's take a look at the opening. So, I got a little bit confused on what I was trying to do. Um, I had a plan in mind, but then I ended up just chasing the the king. And um, I had quite a hard time in this uh, position. Okay, so that's a blunder. There it is. I want to see the forced uh, checkmate sequence. So bishop there. King takes the bishop. That's a little bit too much for me, but I can see that I I felt that there was there was I I I was very close and I had probably to to uh, sacrifice one of my pieces. So that's the bishop, bishop and knight. And then you basically you attack and you just trap the, the, the king in the corner. More puzzles, more puzzles. So instead I decided to save my, my rook because I felt it was in danger. Okay, I should not have even tried that. So I moved the rook, then I took that. I Yeah. I mean this one to be to be honest, this, this sequence is a little bit uh, still a little bit too difficult for me. Uh, but let's take one more time and look at the blunder. So the first one was to move the rook, then was to take that because I should have I should have simply moved my queen behind the bishop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe then the rook here, bishop there. So that looks like a nice situation. Yeah. So 
yeah basically i i managed to to win because in this situation my opponent moved moved there and allow me to just go straight up a little bit of a lucky win if i have to be honest but that was game two then came game three game three uh 46 percent accuracy so yeah 10 blunders, two mistakes, four inaccuracy. It's, it's very painful to see to see these numbers. Um, so here I try to defend my pawn, and then yeah, try not to be not to end up in an uncomfortable situation right at the start of the game. Uh, here was a mistake. He could have. He could have fought me. I mean, he could have taken something, um, but he didn't. the The thing to do was to. Ah, oh, that's such a good move. Yeah, that is such a good move. A queen for a queen. Yeah. Instead, I went on the corner for whatever reason. That was another blunder because, yeah, of course, should have attack. So. Yeah, attack the queen. I think, yeah, with a little bit of practice, I can get to the rook. The others are a little bit too advanced, but it's good to see the, the way Stockfish thinks. So this was another blunder from my opponent and his one for me. Of course the attack for the of the queen is still there. That is just so efficient. Oh man. Look at this. It's pure beauty. Check. Rook. Knight. I mean Amazing. That's another blunder because I should have used my. Oh, yeah, of course. I should have used my knight to save it. Mm. Instead, I left it there and the um, the queen took it that was a blunder what would have been better how to move the queen there mm. yeah yeah the queen was really useless on the side Notice that so that was a blunder, and then I went for easy stuff. Um, here again, no good plan, just trying to infiltrate, but I didn't really have a good, a good strategy. some issues because I didn't know exactly how to proceed that was an inaccuracy would have been better to go back okay that's such a good way of exchanging rooks 
So move back in underneath it. Tuck, tuck, and then the rook is gone. So good. Yeah. So here I I said I wanted to push this pawn and then ended up uh, I don't know ended up taking mm, that's 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 the first blunder yeah um, Stockfish says, don't take the queen. Uh, anyway, here trade the queens. Um, went to look for a checkmate. But uh, I was honestly low on time, so... Ah, oh, but that one... That, I should have done that. Up. Not this rook, to move the other rook. Looks so pretty. Tuck. Yeah, that's a, that's a big miss. And uh, yeah, basically then I ran out of time. So I feel I feel this this is a combo that I saw already in a few puzzles. Is yeah, basically the the whole concept the, the whole concept is push the king away so that you can take whatever piece is there and uh, but i f i was maybe low on time i didn't think about it yeah that's gonna that's that's something that i have to keep in mind for the future so it's it's for sure a scenario that is gonna repeat or i will encounter many times in the future so that was game three let's take a look at game four game four was also very disappointing they save 80% accuracy, 3 blunders, 16 accuracies, but uh, yeah, the game was so so. Um, started with a scotch. Actually, let me see from here what's the best move after. So the best move is to develop the bishop or or the or the knight. Knight is third, bishop is first. Okay. Good to know. And here push the pawn bishop. Yeah, basically the bishop either here or here or push the pawn. Mm. I developed the other bishop. <laughs> traded, we traded bishops like that and went for some exchanges. But I, I, I think I need to calculate better because I end up Maybe with the same number of pieces, this is probably not the case. Let's see, two, four, six, two, five. Okay, I'm down one piece, but still worse position. Um, and here I just I just blundered the queen. Honestly, I didn't I didn't even see that. Just hang my queen. I was kind of excited though because I thought uh, there there was some potential maybe. Um, yeah, here I didn't know exactly how to proceed and I had just maybe like 30 seconds. Um, mm, 
All right, what's the best approach? Oh, so simple. Of course, you move there. It has to go up, maybe. Push up, yeah. Yeah. It's such a... Um, it's such a better response, but I was in a rush, traded, uh, traded pieces, and then yeah, basically, yeah, this basically this is like just a lot of moving around. That um, still trying to figure out if I have to resign or not. Sometimes I think um, I probably should. It's such a waste of time, no educational value. So yeah, that was the game. I think here the main mistake was really a poor calculation. Um, I traded pieces and I ended up maybe with the same number of pieces, than, but in a worse position compared to the pieces of my opponent. And that's, uh, yeah, that, that, that was a major disadvantage. And then of course, I was maybe not uh, on top of my game. So you add that up and you get a uh, um, pretty pretty painful game yeah so that was game four now yeah basically i'm still trying to focus on sticking to my my puzzles um i practice a lot probably I should practice more uh, or i don't know um maybe maybe take more time to review my games, something like that. If you have any tip on what I can do to get the most out of these uh, losses, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I am always uh, willing to, to uh, read a, an advice, a suggestion from, from a more skilled player. So thanks again uh, for that if you do it and uh, having said that i hope you enjoyed day 37 see you tomorrow for day 38